I am number one, not number two If I'm not the one, I'm uncomfortable See the competition I've been running through Leveled up, I only see him in my rear view Switch! Yeah, I'm ballin', yeah, I'm ballin', been ballin' Yeah, I'm ballin', yeah, I'm ballin', been ballin' I'm winning, get buckets from the court side to the nosebleeds Yeah, they love it I'm winning, get buckets from the first in and the last out, see me coming. First take, I'm hotter than hot, hotter than some boiling water, I bubble the pot. Team full of ballers, baby, we winning a lot. I'm like Curry with the rock when I get to my spot. I'm tapping in, I'm passionate, this is what passion is. This here, nah, this is no accident. From the start to the finish, I'm cashing in. I am number one, not number two If I'm not the one, I'm uncomfortable See the competition I've been running through Leveled up, I only see him in my rear view Switch Yeah, I'm ballin', yeah, I'm ballin', been ballin' Welcome to the house that Rockney built Leahy turned into legacy, Parsegan renovated, and Holtz restored. Notre Dame Stadium, the home of the Fighting Irish. Today, we have one of those games that tests your focus. Top 25 team against an unranked opponent. Can you take care of business? As we'll see a squad from the Sun Belt, the Arkansas State Red Wolves taking on the 21st ranked team in the land, the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Fires to the right. Makes a connection. Afterburner's coming. And they get it's the catch. If I'm on offense, I'm trying to find a lot of ways to get him touches in this game. Quick strike complete. They make the stop after you run these plays. You need a first down. You run these plays. You rep them over and over and over again. Quarterback feeling the pressure and down he goes at the 22. Well, this guy's had all of college football talking after coming away with three sacks in his first game. And he already notches his first sack in this one. What a terror he has been on offense as early this season. Looking to throw, it's Rainer. And the pass, it's picked off. Going the other way, and he's got room. He's at the 40, the 20. And he's going to take it all the way back. Touchdown! That's one of those plays you put a highlight on the side. It can really swing a game. So there's a couple plays a game when you go back and you're looking like, man, that changed the whole outcome. What an unbelievable play by the defense, not just to get the turnover, but to score the points off. Possession will be a test after squandering that long drive, throwing a pick six, Jesse. You're right, Reese. Well, I think this is really dependent, too, on the leaders in this. He's loose. And they were. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. He's got his man. And he's brought... A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. A shot toward the end zone. And that pass is intercepted. And after the interception and the turnover, this defense has set its offense up for business. This is obviously not a great start for this quarterback here. Two interceptions already in this game. He's got to do a much better job with his decision. Led to a little bit of inaccuracy. They'll throw again after the incompletion. Quickly complete. third and long trying to have a big completion here using the quick game ball is free defense just cradling that fumble and securing it well it's a nice job by him making the catch but guys you got to secure the ball and put it away the play's not over give the defender credit for knocking it loose and the defense jumps on it here's the 
Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reese. I think it's fine. Misfired on first down, back to the air on second. Looking for the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown by the Irish. Really nice timing on that throw by the quarterback. Took his steps and pitched and got rid of it quickly on the line. Put it on his guy running straight down the field, and he's able to catch it in the end zone. Pre-snap motion in the backfield. Shakes off the defender. And the ball is free on the pitch. Oh, the fumble and the defense got it. Touchdown, Red Bulls! The defense with the scoop and score. It's a much-needed life from this offense as they try to cut away at this lead. No doubt. Needed something to go right. You're down. You've got to make plays. you got to get your team back in it. Great start. Keep chipping away. He's going to pass. Coming after him. He's going to take off. And they pick up. Now, once you get one of those plays, you got the offense right where you want. Makes the grab on the left. Crosses the 30. He's got a lane. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. I know it's early in the game, but. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Unleashes to the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Notre Dame. Effective offense. Leading the way here and establishing this lead. And that's why you draw it up, right? You want to come out and be clicking early, get everything going. Way to get all the facets rolling. The defense right now on their heels. They have no answers. The offense doing whatever they want. chance that time getting hit almost immediately after he got the ball fires to the wide out on the 30 yard line on first down he wants to throw unloads it left that is just a sport and series of plays a chance to cut into the lead just before halftime they'll run it on first and goal and he's loose and he'll take it to the house touchdown red wolves and that's a nice drive, a nice physicality, punching it in with the run game. And here's the thing. I like where this offense is going. Nice job creating some momentum, going into the half, cutting down the lead. This thing could get really exciting. Nice job answering the bell right before the half. Stiff arms, speed, whatever it takes to move the sticks and score touchdowns. Every time he touches the ball, you can feel the excitement from this home crowd because Palmer, he can go the distance with that game-breaking speed. You're right, David. He's a special talent. I'll tell you, these fans, they come here to see this guy play because he has game-breaking speed. Stuff you can't coach. You saw it on that play. From the gun, wants to pass. Throws toward the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Eric! That is a highlight type play that we're going to be looking at all offseason. We needed to have that play. The third down, the quarterback just tried to put it close to his guy. He was able to get one hand on it, and look at the stick of there. That is gorgeous. Just enough time to get off one more snap. One back in the backfield, and they'll give it to him. And he's taken down after a short gain, and that'll do it for us here in the first half. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Men, it should come as no surprise that we have ourselves a fun matchup in South Bend.
And it'd be easy to say these two offenses are glad we've hit halftime based on their respective performances. It would also be accurate. Turnovers and sacks have told the story so far. And you got to believe the play calling has been the issue, right? Time to shred those game plans and just get back to basics. With that said, let's send it back to the fellas there in the shadows of Touchdown Jesus. Somebody's always going to pop open, but it didn't happen in time before they got the sack. No, it did not. And you know what? I'm going to remember this. I'm going to remember zone defense. They didn't really have an answer. They weren't ready to get rid of the football. Quarterback. They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start it with the first play. You need to be successful and productive on that first. All kinds of running room. What a play there, and he's got it all the way down to the seven-yard line. How many ways can I get it to my guys who can fly, who are playmakers, and let them make big plays? This is another one you've put it in on second and goal. Goes to the option. And he'll take it in. Touchdown by the Irish. No step back in week three. They have been sharp as they extend the lead. Locking up front, created the open lane, and the running back followed it beautifully. Yeah, um, it's pretty easy to follow an offensive line that makes those holes and just gives you a caravan all the way to the end zone. What an unbelievable job. They're trailing by 28 to Utah. We've got our eye on things here and everything else going on right now, and any updates, you'll see. And he's picked off again. His night vision hasn't been up to speed. His third interception. And a big return after the INT sets up the offense for this possession. The QB's got to pick and choose their spots when they want to be really aggressive and try to fit balls in tight windows. Great job by the DB making a big play, getting the ball back to its offense. running the football because I know he's got a lot of speed, but he's not the biggest guy in the world. So he's not going to be able to break a lot of tackles. You really got to do a good job of trying to scheme ways. Trying to pound it in. Touchdown, Notre Dame! And the route is on. In a fourth and goal situation, great in the beat. The goal line package, all the heavy guys, the tight ends, and just pound the rock when you need it. Running back falling forward, getting the touchdown. Offense just went big on your booty. 25. Fire! Off play action on first down. He's going to fire deep. He's got it down the left. He's off to the races. And he'll take it to the house. He got loose. Touchdown, Arkansas State! Man, that's a play. This kid has been running ever since he was seven years old at the park with his best friend, throwing them go routes right down the field. I'm running by a guy. I'm looking back, locating the football, making the catch. And he does it in a big moment here in this game. point to as they get ready for their next opponent of things they did right and things that they got to do more consistently moving forward. With another first down. On the option. Sweet cut there. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Third and long in field goal range, you're expecting it to be zone. Instead, they lock him up man-to-man, -man, everybody on an island, everybody won. They get the incompletion now setting up fourth. And the kicker delivers the three ball to finish off the drive. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, that kid just showed off his hammer for a leg. 50 plus, and he did it with ease.
guys, we'll see if this Red Wolves offense can get moving. They torched this defense with an explosive passing play for a score last time out. Let's see if they reels it in on the left side. They'll leave the offense out there to try to get it past the marker and pick up the first. On fourth down, they'll pass for it. Incomplete. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. It's complete. What a throw. Not a lot of room. He fits it in beautifully, and they've got it at the 30. Man down on the play as the officials take him out a little bit. Man, the defense was like a bunch of zombies on that last play. They just would not stop chasing that ball carry. He has the first and still want to take advantage of in the back end of this defense, so they're letting it fly. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. Keeps the legs moving. touchdown pass might be a good time to mention Brady Quinn from six touchdown passes against BYU that record might be in jeopardy to the air it's Rainer for the fourth time tonight it's an interception and he's gonna take it all away touchdown fighting Irish that leads a little more comfortable now as he goes in on the This, you didn't think it could be any worse, right? You thought this game's over as it is anyways. Offense still throwing the football, still trying to make plays, and the defense just continues to pour it on, gets the pick, makes its way all the way to the end zone. I believe I've only thrown one in my life, but yes, I do because of that singular instance. I'll say this. You can't let that play beat you twice. You got to go out and not try to get it all back here in one play. Just for a field goal try. And they'll kick it from the left side, a 44-yard try. And it's right down the boulevard. I wouldn't say they cut into the deficit. They sort of microscopically uh, edged off the deficit. Still a mountain to climb. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Catches it at the 30. They'll bring him down. The clock is at zero, and that is how this one will wrap up. This is what you're looking for when you have the better team. Go out and show it. Don't fool around with them. Go out and play to a standard of excellence. Just dominate. You know you're going to take care of business. You know you're going to win. It's, almost, it's like how many? How many can I win by? And I like that you keep your foot on the gas and just continue to pile it on. It's their job to stop you. Let them do their job. You just keep pouring on. It's not about the X's and the O's. It's the Jimmy's and the Joe's. This is why recruiting is so important in college football. They just had better players. More physical. They were faster, and it showed today. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.